ladies and gentlemen, welcome once again to Chikara's Podcast A Go Go, your weekly dose of Chikara's brand of professional wrestling. My name is Gavin Loudspeaker. Chikara fans, we want to thank you so much for coming out, supporting us for Under the Hood, our big season 11 finale. It was a huge success, both on iPay-Per-View and at the Trocadero in Philadelphia. Thank you so much to all our fans who came out and thank all of you for joining us live on the internet via iPay-Per-View. One of the other highlights of season 11 was also King of Trios. We had an amazing three nights. And let me tell you something, this year had more female competitors than any other previous King of Trios. And, well, they kind of stole the show, as we're going to see right here as Team JWP takes on the throwbacks. Team JWP is Commando Bolshoi, Tsubasa Koragaki, and Kaore Yoneyama. They'll be taking on the throwbacks, which, of course, is Mr. Touchdown, Dasher Hatfield, and their special partner for King of Trios, Mad Classic. That's why we're both Little League players and baseball fans. Let's say, oh, wait a minute. He rolls him up, and that was a close one. Dasher going for a good game there. Yoniyama sidesteps and rolled him up and almost had a win. Okay. Yoniyama going for a congratulatory hug. Oh, now they're getting into it. A war of the words here. I believe it. I believe they're both sorry. And now Matt Classic oh, returns. Matt Cla what, a, what a bad time for Matt Classic to come walking back. He's got to be absolutely irate. And right now, we see tags on both sides here. Mark Angelicetti, the current and reigning Young Lions Cup champion in there with Commando Bolshoi. 20-year veteran of the wrestling game, one of the founders of the JWP promotion in Japan. This is her first time here in Chikara. She was supposed to join us for Joshimania, but injury kept her on the shelf. Very glad to see her here, hoping to lead her team. These are the two captains of the teams in here, Cap. And they are having... They're having a couple intense looks in that ring here. Mark Angelicetti, since winning that Young Lions Cup, a little bit of the stiff arm there. Well, how about the new, how about the new Veronica here at ringside with her cheerleading pom poms and everything? Bit of a change there, Veronica. She's still got the flower in her hair, but she's still got the apple in the eye of Mark Angelicetti, who just goes flying there by Bolshoi. Bolshoi, too much for Mr. Touchdown to handle there. Watch out! He's gonna climb these ropes. <laughs> All the way up to the top. Wow, oh, was, the yeah, speed. I was about to say that, Gavin. It going backwards. That's remarkable balance. Two for the price of one. Bolshoi tagged in the powerful Kuragaki. We saw this impressive oh, woman at Joshi Mania. Just Tack is taking down these men with shoulder blocks. I should have had Kuragaki in my football picks, but now she's in there with the powerhouse of the throwback team in Matt Classic. Matt Classic seems to have met his match here. Someone who he can compete with. He feels comfortable competing with Kuragaki. Yeah, no, no, nobody goes down. It's the irresistible force meeting the immovable object. Miss Classic ends. Matt Classic there. That Kuragaki takes him down! Matt, you'll notice the ace bandage on the left knee of Matt Classic. I think that was an injury he received from Ed Strangler Lewis. He was backstage talking about that whippersnapper Pat O'Connor. Hiding his uh, knee pads on him as well. Test of strength here now by the two powerhouses of both teams. You know, I mentioned before about Team JWP, their first time here in King of Trios. This is the third time that there's been a throwbacks team here in King of Trios. Every time they were out in the first round, the two constants on those teams all the time were Dasher and Matt Classic. 
Now Mr. Touchdown is the captain. He's saying the weak link is gone. He felt the weak link was Sugar Dunkerton. He's promising victory. Tremendous action from King of Trios night one. Ladies and gentlemen, you can catch all three nights of King of Trios via Smart Mark Video. Go over to smartmarkvideo.com and check out all the incredible action from the entire weekend, like this match, which was also from night number one. Now, this was quite a special event to have. We had Team WWF featuring the one and only Tatanka, the one and only 1-2-3 Kid, and don't forget the Portuguese man of war, Aldo Montoya. They were taking on Tommy Dreamer, Too Cold Scorpio, and the third member of their team, whose name was Jerry Lynn. They were the extreme trio, and this created some first-time matchups. Like, first of all, Tatanka and Too Cold Scorpio never in the ring together. Let's check it out right now. We are off and running. Lightning Mike Quackenbush and Leonard F. Chikarsen calling it for you here. It is super no vacancy at the Palmer Center. There are people jammed into every corner, sitting on the floor. Everywhere you can put a body in this building, there is a body, and they've come to see King of Trios. This is it. The night one main event, Leonard. Indeed, Team WWF to talk in the ring now. His partner's on the apron, Aldo Montoya, the one, two, three kid, taking on Team ECW. Two Cold Scorpio in there on the apron, Jerry Lynn and Tommy Dreamer. This is quite the collection. Quite the collection of personalities here. Yes, indeed. You know, people talk about the colorful characters in WWF over the years, and you got three of the most famous, the most popular. But ECW having some of their own colorful characters, no more, <laughs> no more colorful and electric than Too Cold Scorpio. This version of Team ECW that we're seeing here, I think, is a perfect sampling of what ECW was all about. You've got the high flyer, Too Cold Scorpio. You got the Matt technician, Jerry Lynn, and the innovator of violence, Tommy Dreamer. This Team WWF. Folks, you don't know what you're going to get out of these three. Just to clarify, this is the extreme trio for legal reasons. Oh. And thank goodness for the World Wildlife Fund. This is Team WWF, and that's all. I was just reading what it says on his shirt. <laughs> Wastelock here to Two Cold Scorpio. And Tatanka, it's got to be one of the thickest guys I've ever stood next to. So muscular and in remarkable shape. If you saw him, you know, as recently as just a few years ago when he was on the SmackDown brand, he has kept himself in tremendous shape, as have all of these guys. Very sad to note, though, Jerry Lynn, in the midst of a retirement tour, this may be his one and only appearance in Chikara. If the Extreme Trio is defeated here, it's one night and out for Jerry Lynn. And you got to think here, the main event night one, you mentioned before, so many people here in Easton, the biggest crowd by four that we've ever had in all the years running here in Easton. And you got to think this was one of the one of, one of the marquee matchups that all these people came here to see. Not just that, but the pageantry and the spectacle that is King of Trios. Scorpio flips through using the top rope, knee to the midsection, and an elbow right across the breadth of the shoulder blades of Tatanka. He looks like he's stunned. Scorpio now. These two collided. Scorpio's given up just a little bit of weight to Tatanka here. You know, in all their years, Mike, I'm not 100% sure, but I don't think these two have ever crossed paths in a wrestling ring before. That's a fascinating, I didn't, I didn't even think about that. You might be entirely right. Could this be the first time these two have ever squared off? I don't think Scorpio was in uh, the World Wrestling Federation the same time as Tatanka was. Whether it was in uh, Japan, World Championship Wrestling, a first time matchup here, and these two going through a very long feeling out process here, but the fans are on their feet for every moment of it. Incredible flying shoulder tackle, finally knocks Tatanka off his feet. Behind he goes, waist lock control to the ropes. Looking for the Pat O'Connor roll. Scorpio with a drop kick, Tatanka saw it coming. And he lights him up with a knife edge chop. Now just measuring him here. You look on Scorpio's Whoa. face, absor absorbing those shots from Tatanka. Look at the precision of Tatanka here. <laughs> and that jumps a lot out of Scorpio and runs right to another one, sends him down to the Knocks canvas. Knocks him down. Tomahawk chop right between the eyes, and Scorpio feels that discretion is the better part of valor. Here comes the innovator of violence himself, Tommy Dreamer. 
there you go, ladies and gentlemen. Main event action from night number one at King of Trios. And you can get all three nights of King of Trios as well as Under the Hood and all of our Chikara events from Season 11 at Smart Mark Video. Go to smartmarkvideo.com. You can order the DVDs. You can download the MP4s or you can stream it directly to your computer. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I know the holidays, especially these, the holiday times can be lonely. It can be cold out there. Chikara is here every week to keep you company. So join us again next week as we bring you more from the joyous event that we call King of Trios right here on the go-go. I'm Gavin.